Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Teaching My Friend Terraria. In this episode, I think our main goal uh, probably gonna be get into the underworld and fight in the uh, remaining pre-hard mode bosses being Skeletron and Queen Bee. Uh, Skel- oh, you're back, nice. Yeah, we need to fight Skeletron, which is great because it's just about night time. Do you have a good weapon with you? Yeah. Skeletron's not that hard. We should join Red Team though so we can see each other. Yeah, they're homing. Is that the uh, the Deathbringer? Nice. So yeah, so both of the guys we're gonna fight today, hopefully, probably just one of them though, since it sounds like we won't have a ton of time. The guy we wanna fight today, uh, can only be fought, summoned and fought at the, uh, the dungeon, which we have not been to previously. Oh, bro! An Abigail's flower! Let's go! Yeah. Here, you can actually have it. I have another one. You can have that. I I have this. Just click. Just use it. And now you have a pet. Except for it's not a pet. It's a uh, it's a summon. So it'll actually attack enemies. In some ways, yours is more. So mine does more damage. But Abigail's ghost like goes through blocks and stuff to attack enemies. So she's kind of OP. Oh snap! How are we still in the crimson? Okay, there we go. Yeah, but it was still playing the crimson. I got a shackle. It's an arcane shackle, though, bro. I just got an item that gives plus 20 mana. Do you want it? Yeah, so you'd have to swap one of yours out, probably. It is, actually, but don't step on it. Yeah, we'll probably want to come back for this stuff later. Set. Um, the bon set bonus is that you can use a magic item called the Space Gun at zero mana cost. Yeah. Bro, this is the weirdest desert, or the, the weirdest dungeon. Okay, whatever you do, don't go through that platform there until after we defeat the boss. Yeah, don't go down there. Literally, the most powerful being in existence will spawn and just absolutely murder you if you do. Okay, are you ready? It's called the Dungeon Guardian. Yeah. Alright, are you ready? Do you want to try to kill this guy right now? Not, not, not that guy. The actual boss that we came here for. Okay, we got kind of got have to be fast because if we're not, then uh, if we, well, no, then he'll kill us if we don't kill him before it's daytime. So we got like three minutes, maybe four. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Ready? Yeah. Kill the hands first, it lowers his defense. We need to get out, we need to get out. He's gonna massacre us. Oh snap. No, I was just stuck. All right, I'll shoot him. Oh, 
Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, get out of there, bro. Got his other hand. Oh, I did a lot of damage right there. We have a minute and a half. He's on me. Oh snap, I just took a lot of fall damage. No, he can, and he has been. Come on. I think my burb has been doing a lot of work, actually. Yeah, let's go. Easy dubs. You wanna go explore the dungeon now? No, no, it's safe now. Once you kill that guy, it's safe. That's the point of killing him. And there's really good stuff down here. Just be really careful. If you see spikes, don't step on them. And, uh... Watch out for falling blocks. And other traps. And also bad guys. That's pretty much it. Did you step on a spike? Yeah, so the spikes also give you a, a effect called bleed, which means that you won't heal for like 10 seconds. Oh, th these blue bottles all over the place, by the way, are mana potions. If you mine them up, then you can use them. And they, they'll restore your mana. So the, these blue bottles that are all over the shelves, you can collect them. I found a chest, but it's locked. There's a lot of mana potions down here, actually. I need to kill some guys so we can get some keys. Oh, snap. Guy. I found the mechanic! He's an NPC that sells good stuff. Hello. You didn't happen to get a golden key by any chance, did you? Oh no, I stepped on the spike. Oh really? That's sick. We should. Uh, we should turn him into dinner. You actually can. Any golden animal you can eat. Right? Nope. That's that's not even a regular locked chest. That's uh that's uh that is that chest contains one of the most powerful items in the game. Because um you have to get a special key for it that you can only get in hard mode. Uh, it will attack you. And it will kill you. Ooh. Hey, alchemy table, we can make potions. Nope. Oh. I, you know those how that chest I was telling you? has uh, really good stuff in it. I found the best one of those at the chest. I mean, it's still locked, but, you know. We know where it is now. Yeah, don't let those skulls hit you. They make it so you can't use any weapons or items. I mean, I guess it has a chance to. Ah, I'm gonna die. I I also just got a really OP magic item. Okay. 
Oh yeah, they just are around. They're one of the traps. Okay. I no longer have any guys on me, but I also have no room for any of this stuff. You know what? Forget shiver thorns. Shiver thorns are garbage. And I'm out of keys. Yeah, blue moon. Let's go. Oh, kill it. They that they're a guaranteed drop of keys. Kill it and then come to where I am. Oh, I also found a slime. Nice. Ah. Yeah, I have a shadow key. Just look on the map. Ah. Ah. You can, but it's... We, well, I guess we can now. Oh, I got a cobalt shield. Let's go. Dying. Actually, I'm going to teleport home because otherwise I'm going to die and I have a ton of money on me from killing the boss. Okay. I shall return shortly. Okay, we're good. Alright, I come. No! Literally right as I was about to use the wormhole potion, you died. Although, we didn't get a Muromasa, so we will have to go back eventually. This is a mace. A very powerful mace. It's called the Blue Moon. It does 60 damage. Which means that it actually does 30 damage. But that's still more than the Sun Fury, or the Star Fury, so... Bro, you should use the Aqua Scepter instead. It's way more powerful. We should see if we can get a magic missile, because those are really OP. Well, I guess that's as good a place as any to end it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. <laughs>